Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we will discuss about a one more program on strings in Python that is generating random strings until given string is generated. So first we have to take one string as an input and find out the length and we need to generate a random strings of that particular length until the given string is appeared right so for that uh, we are going to use a two uh, modules that is a string module and the random module so in the string module we are having one pre-initialized uh, string that is a printable which will be having all the combination of lowercase characters uppercase characters digits and symbols See, random module is used to generate a random strings. So first let us take this one, import string and import random. Now consider one string. So str is equal to, to read the string, we are going to use an input function. So enter string, right? And then take a one more uh, string, that means a pre-initialized string. So let us take some s is equal to string dot printable so you can you can see the uh, what exactly this yes is having see uh, let us take some a b c see this is the yes this is available in yes so digits lowercase alphabets uppercase alphabets symbols right everything everything every character will be in this particular printable attribute so we are assigning to yes so this is a pre initialized string constant now from this we have to generate a random string of this particular length first let us consider the length length is equal to length of input string whatever the string we are taking we have to consider that one length of the string and we need to generate a random strings of this particular length so in order to generate this uh, random strings we are having a one method called random dot choices and see we i just want to print how many number of iterations after how many number of iterations i am getting the actual string so i'm just initializing count as zero and also let us take some result is equal to empty string and again see repeat the process so we have to repeat the process that means generate the random strings until until str becomes a normal uh, a result right so in the result we are going to generate the random strings so until str not equal to res we are going to repeat the steps until str not equal to res so whenever str is equal to res that implies our uh, string has been generated right so our result is equal to random dot uh, choices so in order to if you want to get a more than one uh, uh, length we have to go with the choices and in these choices we need to give the uh, string so yes from yes i'm taking the choices of length k is equal to length so k is the attribute to specify how many characters we need to get so it will return a number of characters and now we need to uh, form a string so i'm just uh, using the join operation join method so that all the uh, random characters will be formed as a string now just print the res which is a random number generated and uh, increment the count value because uh, we, i just want to print uh, the number of iterations it, 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 it required to get the to generate the actual string so else part we can write else for the while also in python so whenever the condition becomes false this else part will be executed so when the condition becomes false whenever the string is equal to the generated string so obviously we can print print we are having this the count of random generations so i am writing here after after the count random generations random generations str str generated successfully right 
Now, let us execute. Let us take this thing. I'll give a single letter word. Okay, single letter, so that we can get the output easily. So I am giving some capital A. Now the length of the string is one, and the, the random strings of length one will be keep on generating until we get the result as A. See, see M space T K space 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 cap. So random generator. Uh, I mean the letters has been generated randomly. So after twelve random generations, we got A. A is generated successfully. Similarly. Hope you understood. So we are generating the strings randomly of given length until we get the given string, right? Whatever the input string we are giving, until uh, it will generate all the strings until we get the input string. So let us execute one more thing with uh, two letters A B. So you can see these are the random gen random strings of length two because our input string is of length two. So uh, two letter words has been generated until a b is appeared see you can see all these are the random number generators and after 13609 random generation a b string has been generated successfully right so in order to generate a b randomly it took around 13609 uh, random generators random strings so let us take some symbols so question mark and a so you can see these are all the two letter words and we got around the 7011 random generations we got this particular string so so let us take some uh, e f two letter words so it will generate a two all the two letter words until we get e f as a result See, after 6,937 random generations, so EF string has been generated successfully. So this is how we can generate a random strings until the given string appears, right? So hope you understood this one. And if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, program, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.